Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is part three of a video series I made on intrafusal fibers, gamma motor neurons, and muscle spindles. Everyone you see online is training the conscious level, pull-ups, squats, handstands, flips, weightlifting, and even gymnastics. That's all learned behavior. It's practice, it's rehearsed, it's conscious. But what happens when life throws you off balance? When you trip, when you fall, when something unpredictable hits you. Your conscious mind is too slow. What saves you is something deeper, your subconscious reflex system, powered by a hidden part in your muscle, the intrafusal fibers. These are not the big, strong muscles you train at the gym. Those are called extrafusal fibers. Intrafusal fibers are smaller, sensory fibers that monitor stretch, balance, speed, and position. They are wired into your gamma motor neurons, your body's automatic response systems. But here's the problem. Nobody trains them. Not with weights, not with calisthenics, not with gymnastics, not with acrobatics. And that's why most people, even the strong and skilled, still move like they're old if they show you. In this part three, I'm going to show you the exact exercises I use, or some of them, to train the subconscious level the part of your nervous system that reacts before you even have time to think. This is how I still move like a freaking cat at 61. So ladies and gentlemen, let me show you some of these exercises. In my last video, I gave you three tests. I'm gonna give you a link in the description to that video. And for each of those tests, I'm gonna show you how to train them. So let's get going. My first video, what the, the first test was, Test your gamma motor neurons was this. Stand still, right? And you go straight down. Okay. Catch yourself smoothly. Okay, now I'm gonna show you beginners exercises, intermediate exercises, and advanced exercises to get this down. Let's go. For the very beginners that want to learn how to land on this push-up, you must start somewhere. So we're gonna start right here, okay? This is for the very, very beginners. Just stand here like this, hold down, keep, keep your arms straight. The last second, you hit, come back up. Do five. The last second. That's for the very beginners. Okay, and you can do also it's through the spin move. So this way it throws off your proprioception. It's called chaos. Okay? You do this, right? But when you come up, you spin. This is also for the very beginners. Instead of landing with your arms, Show the width, show the width. You land one hand here, like this. This is for the beginners, okay? Instead of landing like this, you land like this. Come up. Try to keep your body straight, okay? Come up. That's for the beginners. Let's go for the intermediate now. Okay, this is about 16 inches. Okay. Do five reps. Remember, you're gonna do five sets of each exercise I show in this video. Let's go to the next exercise. This is pretty advanced. These are called like flying supermans, I think they call them, I'm not sure. But these are very good for the muscle spindles and intrafusal fibers and the gamma motor neurons because it's, it's the unexpected, it's chaos. You don't know what's gonna happen when, when you're doing these. So these really help. So this is pretty advanced. Okay, you get in a push-up position, right? You get in a push-up position and you do this. Like that. These are for the advanced. 
Let's move on to the next section. The other test I did was when you jump and you land with zero noise. I'm not talking about coming back down because this is stone. It's going to make noise. If it was grass, maybe I could do it. But I'm talking about landing here with no noise. That was the, the other test that shows you how the inside of your muscles is aging. Anybody can build muscles on the outside, but how is the muscle spindles, the intrafusal muscle fibers, that's the proprioception and balance and the stretch of the muscle exactly the way to do it. That tells you so much if you can land without noise. So I'm going to show it to you, and then I'm going to show you the exercises for beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So here we go. I made a little noise again. Again, back up. Okay, watch. This is for the very beginner. If you can't do it this high, 15, 16 inches, then you go lower. Find a spot where you can do it. As it as your body can handle it, okay? So start off real slow, low, and you land. 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 To make it more difficult, put your hands behind your back and look straight ahead. That makes it even more difficult. Because you're not looking here. That's the unpredictability, the chaos. Like that. That's for the beginners. Remember, if you can't do this as high, start off lower, then you get better. Let's go to the intermediates. This is for the intermediate. You're going to hop up, and as you land, you're going to spin. And you're going to land facing the other way. And then you're going to come back down, spinning again, and land. No noise. Intermediates. Watch. No noise. Remember, do five sets, three to five sets of each exercise till you get better. Let's go to the advanced. Okay, this is 30 inches. We're going to do the same thing as the intermediate, but advanced. You're going to jump up, spin, land softly, and do the same thing, land softly. Now we do the opposite side. And there you have it. That was for the advanced. Bend your leg a little to so destroy you balance yourself. Bang. Okay? Bang. That's the test. We are training something consciously to some that may happen unconsciously. It's not easy to do. Okay? This is for beginners. Okay? Just, just come up, press down. Come up. Again. Press down. Come up. Freeze. When you go up there. Freeze. Now do the other foot. This is for beginners, okay? Freeze. What you do is tighten your legs up when you come up. Tighten them up. Like that. That's for beginners. Let's go to intermediates now. This is about 16 inches in height. This is for the intermediate people, okay? Land. Spin. Like that. That's one. Now we do it from this side with, the, with this hand. With this leg. 
the bed. On one foot, stand, hop, don't move. You're gonna spin, land, like that, okay? Try not to wobble, try to land solid. That's for the intermediate people. The exercises I'm showing, you should do one rep, five sets. Take a break, do it again. One rep, five sets for all the exercises I'm doing. As you get better, you, you, you do what you have to do. But we're training the unconscious mind. We train the subconscious. We're consciously training to what the subconscious is gonna react if something happens. This is not your ordinary weightlifting. That won't help. So let's go to the advanced exercise. This is about three feet, nine centimeters. This is the advanced to train for that hop, that one-legged hop. You're gonna land on here on one leg, balance, and then jump down and fall on that one leg. Like that, that's one. Yeah, let's do it. That is the advance. Now okay, ladies and gentlemen, you just saw how I train part of the nervous system that no one actually talks about. The part that saves you before you even know you're in danger. These movements and simple exercises aren't about muscle. They're about messages, fast, automatic responses that keep you youthful. This is not skill. This is instinct. And if you don't train it, you lose it. That's why strong people still move old, because they only train the conscious level. And not here. This is different. This is longevity to reflex, and I'll keep showing you how to stay sharp, responsive, and ageless from the inside out. Let's go, baby. See you soon in my next video.